Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangs! And I welcome you guys to part something of Let's Play Randomized Fire Emblem 6. I've actually completely forgotten what part we're on. Sorry. Um, but... It doesn't matter, because we're about to attack Bolgar. This city, and I'm just gonna show you this, this is actually really funny. Um, it's something that I discovered, I think it's like sort of an easter egg. Look at this city, and tell me. What does it remind you of? Have you seen this city before? Just, just look at the design of this city. Just look at it. Just look at the design. Where the gates are, where the walls are, how the city... Like, this is the city from Tracia 776, the one you defend. Just look at it. It's so fucking similar. Like, it's obviously not exactly the same, but it's really fucking similar in terms of design. I've always liked this map. It's really fun. Uh, oh, we gotta check out the boss. He's a hero. Cal, he's a hero, he usually is a sword master, so his stats aren't that much different, he's just slightly more tanky. He has the light brand, which sucks. The light brand is a terrible weapon in Fire Emblem 6. We have nomads with capped speed. Lovely. This is gonna be fun. We have these little fuckers right here. With with uh, physics and uh, status staves. And they have 28 magic, so... So from here, they can they can cast their status staves 14 tiles. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You can basically sleep us all the way over here. That's, that's how far they can go. Isn't that lovely? So yeah, for this map, we can bring a lot of dudes. So I'm going to bring Roy Fear, Clarine, Sue, Rutger, Klein, Alan, Percival, Sais, Chad, Lou, Lot, Merlinus, Volt, and Astor. I'm not going to bring Garrett because... Garrett doesn't have a staff rank. If he had a staff rank, I'd probably bring him, but no. Yeah, it's really no point. But I've spread my units out according to supports. And, uh, yeah, let's see how it goes, shall we? Now, this map is kind of funny. There's a lot of enemies here, and uh, you kind of have to attack Bolgar. Luckily, uh, the Sasa people, or the Saka people, they know nothing of siege tactics, so when you get close to the door, they just open the gate for you. They're like, Oh, oh, we can't fight them if they're on the outside, better let them into the city! Like, this is the kind of retard <laughs> things that got them conquered by Burn in the first place. Like, we are sieging your city! Why are you opening your gates to us? Well, you know, you're on the outside and we're on the inside. You're gonna fight, you know? Open the door! Stupid fucking Saka people. So stupid. Learn to siege tactics. Anyway, the start of the map, we're pretty much only gonna have to deal with the nomads on the side, as well as the wyverns who come flying down on either side. Once you dealt with them, we can uh, start moving up to the gates. Let's see if Luke can kill this guy on the first turn. Yeah, he can. Love the spinning shield. I always wonder how that fucking shield works. Anyway. So, uh, these guys are nasty, for obvious reasons. So I'm gonna put fear up here, with the killer bow. Wait, what? No, no, no! Ah, oh, fuck, Lot still has the killer bow. Alright, we're gonna have to give, uh... Give the killer bow to, uh... Yeah, I was gonna swap it around like this. We only have five uses left, but... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put fear here, with the killer bow. And I'm gonna put Rutger here with the hand axe. So now he, he supports Fear. Fear has a crit rating of 52, which means these guys will have roughly a 30% chance of getting crits. And, well, she has 26 speed, so she will double at least the Nomads. So that's good. Anyway, let's get... I'm uh, just gonna make sure Chlorine doesn't get killed there. The Nomads are so fucking fast, it's absolutely insane how fast they are. Anyway, so I can move back with lots. And the plan is to let Lot finish off this guy. I'm not sure if he can, though. But I know that Percy can take care of the other, this other guy. And my, my goal is to try and get Percy far up so he can deal with the Vyverns with his Air Caliber Tome. Schmook. Hopefully within the support range of uh, Klein. That'd be nice. They got that juicy A support right now, which is nice. Uh, how much damage does Klein deal with the Elfire Tome? Uh, 27. Is that enough to kill this guy? Uh, 17. No, he won't kill him. Unless he gets bonus damage. I don't think he gets bonus damage for Percival, does he? 
Pretty sure he doesn't. Anyway, it's gonna be up to Lot then. I actually can Lot even kill this guy? He can't! Well, bummer. That's, um... That's annoying. Well... Lot, you never fucking cease to impress me, dude. You never really cease to fucking... Ab okay, anyway, we don't need to... We can still move in climb now. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's work on the Roy Suzu porch and let's send Volt with uh, Roy as well. All right, let's see how well the first turn goes. A lot of these guys are moving. I don't really know why. Alright. Time for fear to kick ass. And chew bubble gum. Thirty-eight percent chance to crit. That's my fear. She she only has oh wow, she doesn't she doesn't kill that guy in one hit. What? So my hope is that she doubles the Nomad Trooper. That would be really nice. Ha! <laughs> nice one, Ellen. Schmackity schmack schmack. Alright, here we go. You can do it, Fear. You can fucking do it! Or not. You can also not do it, I guess. Oh. That's sad. Now this happens. Fucking physics mages. They got capped magic as well, so they top them off. Alright, here's Nima and Dion. I wonder what classes they will be. We'll find out in the next chapter, I guess. Do Alright, so do we wanna... I think we probably wanna go for killing one of the nomads. Because if we don't kill them, they'll just get healed up. We gotta be a little bit watchful of Clarine, because this guy can cross the water. So... We want to stop him from doing that, preferably. Mm-hmm. He does 8 damage to Rutger, he has no chance. There we go. I hope we have a restore staff ready though, because that guy might sleep us next turn. So maybe we should get Chad back here. Could even berserk the guy if we really want to, but we're not gonna do that. Alright, so this guy can move over here, so we gotta be really careful. Because that guy definitely kills Kareem. We don't want that. Alright, so it would be nice to get, um... Hmm... It would be nice to kill this guy. He has 23 speed, so we won't double him. We can at least do some very nice damage to him. This guy actually has a javelin. Hmm... Da, 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 da. Could move Ellen up here, I suppose. Um, how slow is he, though? 20 speed, he gets slowed down uh, at one point, so no, he, he won't. Could have, could have placed Lot in his range, actually, to do some damage to him. That was stupid. Why didn't I do that? This guy has a javelin, so I'm going to put size up right here with a bow. And this guy can attack Shoo. Let's work on that, that support. Let's just keep Marlena's far in the far in the background. Don't think these guys are supposed to move at the start of the map. The randomizer kind of fucks a little bit with the enemy AI sometimes. Pretty sure they're supposed to be uh, standing still until the gates open up. Very nice shoe. Very nice shoe. Bum bum bum. Oh yeah. 
Ah, oh, crap, this guy hits fucking hard. We're not gonna double him, sadly. But Percival and Klein can take care of the rest of those fuckers. Oh, map glitch! Did you guys see that? I fear take him out. He won't get a chance to heal now. Or, wait a minute, he will. But hopefully the bishop will heal him instead of the nomad trooper. Oh, really? That guy could attack Lou. Hmm, interesting. Ah, fuck! I placed him in the wrong spot. And this guy goes for Chad, who is, for some weird reason, wielding the roll of the stuff. Why is he doing that? Now he's gonna get doubled. Ah. Oh man, that's like the worst possible outcome ever. Oh what? Oh no! No, Chad was supposed to be the one who was Fuck! No! Oh no! All of my staff users are on the other fucking side of the map! No! Oh, you little fucker. You little fucker. Right, so my only chances right now is to kill this guy. But that's not gonna... Oh my fucking god, I just got fucking wrecked. Um... Shit, how do I do this? I guess I'm gonna have to rescue Chad and then restore Chad and then use a f I don't even know. Um Well, I am I am fucked. I am royally fucked. Okay, let's kill this guy first. Gotta say, I'm happy with Sice and his bows. They're working out pretty well for him. Ah, uh, how the fuck do we do this shit? I can't kill that guy. The restart staff is all the way over here. I do have a physics staff though. So I got that going for me at the very least. Guess I'll just do a full full retreat. Pray that the other wyverns aren't able to kill Percival. I mean, not all of them are able to get all the way here. Actually, most of them are. And they do far too much damage for me. But they don't double Ellen, so as long as she wields the Nosferatu Tome, I think I should be safe here. Alright, so one thing's for sure, I need to, I need to heal Chad. Rutger can just stay, but... Chad needs healing. In fact, um, well, he's not equipping the Aurora, Aurora Tome anymore, so there's that. Clarine isn't able to run from this guy, so we're gonna have to bard train our way away from here. Do have another bard here, though. Hmm. I might as well try to do a little bit of damage to him. It's not gonna work, though. Fuck this map. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna equip a Nosferatu Tome, and I'm gonna do this. We're just gonna have to pray, I guess. Pick a fucking god and pray. None of these guys can double own. The problem is she needs to hit, and that may not be easy. Alright, so first first things first, we need the Rutger won't die, so that's fine. Chad won't die either, now that he's not weighed down, so to say. But we need to get our barge out of here. So we could keep Chad on the bridge. And then we can I know what we can do. I hate this guy. I hate this guy so much. Fucking hell, I hate this guy. Oh wait a minute. No no no, we won't be able to do this. Because we can't get we can't get past Chad, so we need to bar train our way in the opposite direction. <laughs> oh my god. That's how we're gonna have to do this. 
shouldn't have I shouldn't have put chat on the bridge. That was stupid. Because I can't, you can't bar train past something because you always need the bars to be adjacent to each other. So that's like the one thing that can slow the bar train down is like chat on the bridge. Bar train simply can't get past him. I love this song. It's so fucking sweet. Alright, we gotta keep moving, but first, I say we take care of this guy. Good job, Shu! And then I think it probably would be a good idea... So this this guy probably doubles Roy. Oh yeah, he doubles Roy, alright. Um, so Roy needs to get the fuck away. I think Roy will actually take Sue with him and get the fuck away. Like so. And... Hmm. Probably dump Sue off as well. Any of these guys have ranged weapons? Nope, they do not. So I dare say we'll put, we place Lou right here. Uh, we give size a silver axe, and we give Lou a hand axe, probably. Or maybe I can borrow an iron axe, like so. Lou's avoidance is 65. It's not the best. But it will just have to do. Wow. This is bard training on a new level right here. Could even bard... Mm, do we want to bard train anymore? We got all the bards in one place. Well, the bard train is strongest when it's together. This this turn is going to be very RNG dependent. Particularly this guy I'm very worried about. Um, pretty sure Lou might die now. We'll see. Doesn't have any of his support, sadly. Yep, the Wyvern Lord could definitely kill Luna. Okay, Alan, we need you to be strong now. We need you to be good. Those 70 percenters can't miss now, okay? Do you hear me? Oh no. Ugh. Come on, you can't miss. You can't miss. Good girl. You need to keep hitting those. You can dodge those. That's that's good. I wish I had a dark shaman with capped speed. All right, will he die? Nope. Lou did not die, ladies and gentlemen. He didn't do shit, but he didn't die. Whew. All right, sleeping Rutger does not give a fuck. He's like, I don't want to wake up now. Go away. Alright, there's one final guy. Jesus. Alright, so we survived that turn. Let's see if the Nomad Trooper manages to kill anyone. I don't think he will. No, he doesn't double Chad when Chad's not equipping the Aurola. So we're fine. No, 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 that's my... That's the guy I sent to... Res Fuck! Ah, uh, no! God fucking damn it, status staves! Ah, uh, well. Hide your weird wife and hide your kids because they be sleeping everybody out of here. Oh shit. Alright, well, I'm just gonna have to try and take this guy down then. But I can't! Now they're gonna sleep fear as well, and we're gonna be completely at RNG's mercy. Alright, so, um... I think we need to take down the Wyvern Lord. Because he's really the scary guy here. Mm. We have a lot of bards, so let's use them. We have an 80% chance of hitting the fucker. Um... We could try to, to well, we will, we will one run this guy, so. Size to the fucking rescue. I'm so happy I trained up size. 
Fucking hell. Oh, I want him to wield steel bows. He's getting there. Alright, so this guy can dance over here, but I can always just dance for Clarine, so it's completely fine. Alright, two more two more arrows and he will go down. Let's just pray they don't miss. La 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 Alright, that's arrow number two. And this will be a level up for Sice as well, although he's capping out nearly all of these. like Sice and Melody are so good because their good growth just means they cap out all of their stats really early and kind of just stop improving after that point. He might get a point of luck or defense every now and then. Well, strength. Did you look at that? He's gonna reach his strength cap alright. Alright, so now we can uh, oh nice let's just oh, 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 oh well it won't be a crit it won't be a kill even if you if you crit so it's actually fine so it's actually completely fine we don't have a single healer over here though that worries me a little bit won't be a kill won't be a kill uh that will be a kill though so we got to be a little bit careful well, I guess we don't need any more healing on this side, because everyone's already dead. Alright, time for Sue to level her sword skill, I guess. I think she she might level up now, because she was pretty close. Yep. So now we can finally give her a steel sword. And I think they weigh 10, so she doesn't lose out anything from that, so that's great, so... I mean, she'll do three more points of damage with her swords, which is a really nice blessing. Alright, so... Who's the most dangerous out of these guys? Killer Lance, I think. Whew! Can't believe fucking all has arrived on. That was insane. And then, I think the Axe Reaver is relatively, uh... Oh, really? I can't kill the guy. Really? Okay, then I think I'll just won't do anything. Actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna restart Klein. That's what I'm gonna do. So glad Ellen can use restart staffs now. This is why I trained her staff rank up. Why I was so keen on training it up, because when a unit gets staff utility, it's just so much better. Um, fuck. Klein does not have a restart. Okay. Will this guy kill Klein? Oh, he doesn't double him. But that's with the steel sword, though. I think he gets weighed down by that. How does he not double Klein? What? He has 20... S oh no, of course he doesn't double Klein. He can't retaliate against fucking Klein. That's why. I guess I can go and kill this guy now. Let's see how... how oh, uh, no, that's pretty easy. He gets so much uh, avoidance next to Percival, so he should be fine against these guys. Chad can still... Um, no, he can't. I was like, hey, he can go and restore someone, but no, he can't. He's silenced, so... That really won't help. Why are you going for Percival? <laughs> oh! Oh my god. That is overkill deluxe. Bum bum bum! Rutger's sleeping. Don't wake him up. Sleeping was much more dangerous in Radiant Dawn. Where it fucking set your avoidance to zero. I always thought it was stupid in Radiant Dawn how pushing units around could, could wake them up, but if they took damage, that didn't reduce their sleeping time. If I were to design a sleep mechanic in Fire Emblem, I would uh, make it so that you, your avoidance is set to zero, but the first time you take damage, you immediately wake up. That sounds like a lot more like how sleep should work. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, little mage. I hate you. Fuck. Ah, oh, seriously. I. This has to be the last. They've they've literally sleep nearly all of the people capable of restoring shit. However, I think instead of wasting restore staffs on this, it's probably just better to wait it off. Because uh, right now we have actually dealt with with all of the enemies, really. Oh, well, except for this fucker. He'll go down soon enough, though. 
Look at this shit. Because I don't think there's any reinforcements coming for quite some time now. There we go. Da, 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 da. All right, I think this is a good time to, to, to make a short cut or a long cut. Sorry, guys, a long one day cut. Please consider leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this part. And as always, my name is Milvangs, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.